Thanks, Joe. So a woman in Colbert County is at her wit's end because she says her property that's never flooded before is now flooding every time it rains. Way 31's Breck and Terry shows us this woman's concerns and what the county says it can and cannot do about it. This is Sandy Withrow's backyard here on Hickerson Avenue, and she tells me every time it rains, she holds her breath with fears that her house may flood. I'm, I'm real panicky. I'm, I'm very nervous. I mean, I'm to the point of tears. As the rain falls around Sandy Withrow's home, her anxiety goes up. Now I don't feel safe in my home. Withrow said every time it rains, these streams get backed up with debris, and her yard becomes a pond. If you'll notice two weeks ago, it got up to a little bit over this step because there was debris. Withrow believes the flooding happens because of this culvert in the woods. It's been there for decades, but is now clogged with soot. I've been here since 94, and it's never flooded. Maybe up to my ankles in the backyard. Colbert County Commissioner Ray Bendall told me there's a work order to dig these ditches deeper to fix some of the flooding issues. But he said the problem is the culvert. He said since it's on private property, the county's hands are tied. To make the situation worse, it's unclear who owns the land because the property lines are hard to make out in the woods. Withrow said she's seen this spot on Hickerson Avenue flood too and worries for drivers. Because it's a dark road, you don't know how deep the, the water is by the time you get up to it. So what's it going to take? Is it going to take someone getting hurt or losing their life? In Littleville, Breck and Terry, Way 31 News. Mendel told Way 31 the ditches near Withrow's home will be dug out in the next coming weeks and they will take away all the debris.